Hare Krishna everyone, I'm just testing that my Facebook Live works properly um, and then I'm going to give you a wonderful update. Um, okay, yeah, it's fine. Uh, Hare Krishna everyone, please accept my humble obeisances, all glories to Sri Sri Guru and Sri Garanga. I hope you're all well and enjoying the hot weather that we're having um, right now. I wanted to give you an update on some research I've been doing over the last week on Gaudiya Vaishnavas in the UK and the discovery of a new group or Sangha or Mat uh, that has some activity in the UK. I'm often a bit wary of using this word group because the word group can mean something formal and actually it may not be formal um, and often people get a bit freaked out by the word group because they think it has to have some um, organisation and not necessarily um, it does. So I'm grateful to Nara Hari Das in Birmingham, my dear friend, um, for sharing some information with me. Um, he's certainly got his ear to the ground and knows what's going on. Um, I wanted to talk to you a bit today about an uh, a, a, a sangha called the Sri Taitanya Grace Place. Um, and it's run by a devotee devotee of Krishna called Srila Gora Hari Das. So those of you that have not heard of Srila Gora Hari Das, I'm going to give you a very brief update um, if I possibly can. So Srila Gora Hari Das um, in the late 70s as a young man in his early 20s was, was, was searching, was looking for God, was looking for answers to life and he read um, the book of John. So the book of John is in the Bible, in the Christian Bible, it's one of the Gospels. Um, John is believed to be just a bit of information here. John is believed to be one of the one of the disciples of Jesus and I think the youngest of all the disciples. Um, so he read the book of John and also he read the books of A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Srila Prabhupada. He was really inspired by Srila Prabhupada's books. So he decided to go and meet Prabhupada. This was the late 70s um, in America. By the time he got there, um, this is what it says on the official biography of Srila Gora Haridas. By the time he got there, I assume somewhere in America, um, Srila Prabhupada had already left the planet. So this was after November 1977. And Srila Gora Haridas was upset that he didn't get to meet Srila Prabhupada in the flesh. Um, but nevertheless, he decided to join ISKCON and he moved into the local ISKCON temple, Hare Krishna temple. And as was the custom at the time in ISKCON, he took initiation from the Zonal Acharya at the time, the Zona Acharya Guru. So the Zona Acharya Guru was um, Tama Krishna Maharaj. Um, so he became a, a, a disciple of his. However, Srila Gora Haridas um, wasn't feeling um, inspired. He wasn't feeling fulfilled being an ISKCON. Um, and he felt, according to his biography, um, that the teachings of Srila Prabhupada weren't being represented uh, in Iskon, so he decided to leave Iskon. Um, his official biography then reports that as soon as he left Iskon, he started to have these ecstatic um, um, experiences of God or Krishna. Um, he just he started to dance ecstatic, ecstatically and have these devotional experiences of God. Um, and in 1996, uh, Srila Prabhupada appeared to him in a dream, a very clear dream, and said he was happy with the approach uh, that Srila Gora Haridas was taking. He was happy with his service, happy with what he was doing, um, and he wanted him to carry on this service for Srila Prabhupada. Gora Haridas was, was experiencing um, and teaching and sharing this idea of Raganuga Bhakti. So anyone who's unsure what Raganuga means, it means kind of um, ecstatic love of Krishna, ecstatic love of God, uh, Prema Bhakti, this idea that we can experience Krishna, Radha Krishna through his ecstatic devotional experiences and even trances, you may say, similar to the trances of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself when he appeared 500 years ago. So, um, his Raganuga approach, Raganuga Bhakti approach, was um, supported by Srila Prabhupada in this dream in 1996. So how does this relate to the UK? Because my research is only on Gaudiya Vaishnavism in the UK. Well, um, I have discovered that Srila Gora Haridas has disciples in the UK. Uh, not only that, he has recently been in the UK. He's been here for several months, staying in Nottingham, and just left um, a few days ago to go back to the United States. Um, Srila Gora Haridas has 11 disciples in the UK. His disciples are mainly based in Nottingham, 
Manchester and he has some disciples in Cambridge as well and a few others dotted around the country. They refer to him as Maharaj or his divine grace or Avadut. Um, they recognise him as a realised spiritual master. Um, because Shilagora Haridas was and is inspired by Christian theology or, or teachings from Jesus, as well as the Gita, the Vedas, Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, his disciples are also taught about the teachings of Jesus as well as the teachings of um, Srila Prabhupada through his books. His books are called the Guru and Garanga books, and his disciples recognise them as a natural progression um, of the from the books of Srila Prabhupada. Um, his disciples, um, those that I've spoken to, those that I've read some of their own writings, say um, that they feel um, welcomed, they feel included by Srila Gora, um, Gora Hari, Das, um, um, they say that he accepts them for who they are. Um, they say that Guru Maharaj, their Guru Maharaj shows them the right way. Um, they recognize themselves as a Sangha. Um, and they, the group, uh, in a very loose, informal sense, the group's been active in the UK for three years, the Sri Taichanya Grace Place. Um, I I've, I've listened to some of the talks of Srila Gora Haridas um, and have listened to some of the Facebook lives that his disciples are featuring on Facebook. Um, and um, it's certainly growing in popularity. He now has disciples in the United States and in Europe as well. Um, I've decided, um, as you can see, I think on the text that's either below or above this live uh, video, um, that I've listed him uh, and the Sri Chaitanya Grace Place as the 17th Hare Krishna Mat or Sangha in the UK uh, that stems from or comes from Srila Bhakti, the line of Srila Bhakti Zanta Sarasvati Thakur. Um, uh, that's a lot of Sanghas, isn't it? Uh, different Sanghas with different Guru Maharajas um, and um, the 17th from Bhakti Zanta Sarasvati Thakur. That doesn't include those 17 don't include those from Janavi Mata and Nityananda Prabhu, and it doesn't include anything else at all that I've mentioned on this page. Um, if you do want to find out more about Gora Haridas, please do follow the links that um, I think are below or above, I'm not quite sure, uh, this Facebook Live. Please do check them out, have a read, um, have a look through. In terms of my organisation, you can tell I'm into organisation, in terms of my organi organisational chart of Gaudiya Vaishnav Sanghas in the UK, I've listed the Sri Taitanya Grace Place as an offshoot of ISKCON. And um, it's actually in a group that's quite smallish. It's smallish because actually the other offshoots of ISKCON are from are run by disciples of Srila Prabhupada, where Srila Gora Haridas is not a disciple of Srila Prabhupada. Certainly in that Diksha sense, uh, in that terms of meeting Prabhupada in the flesh in the 70s um, and the 60s, um, um, he, he probably would be classified as a Shiksha disciple of A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, as many of us would, um, but he is a disciple by Diksha initiation uh, of Tamar Krishna Goswami um, Maharaj who was uh, one of the original uh, GBC after Srila Prabhupada and the Zonal, Ach Zonal Acharya for uh, the United States, uh, North America in the 80s. Um, okay, so that's the very brief update today on the Sri Taitanya Grace Place. Please do feel free to have a look at um, um, Gora Haridas's Facebook profile. Uh, if You don't have to be a friend of his because his settings are open. You don't have to be a friend of his to listen to his Facebook lives, um, to, to watch them after they've been live and to see photos and videos. And you can just kind of get a feel and a taste for uh, some of the work that the Sri Taitanya Grace Place is doing. As I said again, they're based in, uh, in terms of Nottingham, seems to be a largest contingent of disciples. Um, and also there are represent there is representation as well uh, in Manchester and Cambridge. Um, there's been no meetings recently physically because of the lockdown in the UK and religious meetings are still not allowed in that formal sense. Uh, but um, I know others that have been doing it. Um, 
so I think that's probably a, about it. Obviously, what kind of makes this Sangha slightly different to others in the line of Bhaktis Vedanta Sarasvati Thakur is the um, is the mentions. Uh, I wouldn't say mentions is the the significance that's also given to the teachings of Jesus, which I'm sure many sannyasis, Gaudiya Vaishnav sannyasis, would in, in one sense, but um, it's, there's a higher emphasis um, in, in this Sangha in terms of quoting Jesus in Srila Gurahari Das's books. So do feel free to, to look him up. Thank you. Hare Krishna and enjoy the hot weather. Hare Krishna.